So basically, here's what's going on here. Choo Choo Child is a survival horror game that happens to be an open world in first person, like Skyrim, also a bit like Borderlands in a way, in which you navigate a train and upgrade it to fight Charles, Choo Choo Charles. Is it weird? No, see for yourself, this game's actually coming out early next year. Last Wild, on the other hand, is a di okay. So this is a dinosaur horror game. Why though? Because dinosaurs could also be scary, especially if they're smart. And that's specifically what's going on with this game, Smart Dinosaurs. Now here's the deal, this game is uh, coming out of a very, very old developer, so we believe it's gonna be something, not nothing. In any case, this is what they came up with. Moving on, we get to Outbreak Island, which is a survival game basically with detective elements. So you get to solve mysteries and stay alive, craft weapons, and go face to face with monster folks. Anyway, check out this one's only suspected to come out next year, and there is rumors of a playable demo for sometime later in this year. So keep it in mind. Lindsay, are you there? I've got a situation here. I got out. I can't say it was Disneyland down there. Level Z, on the other hand, is a tactical online first-person horror game in which you're playing as scientists who must repair a space station before Schnepp hits the fan. Uh, there's more to it, though. Uh, you can play this game solo or with friends against other players online or whatever. It could actually be big, this game, I ain't kidding. Just make sure to stay tuned. Right now, the game is only scheduled for sometime next year. Martha is Dead is a first-person psychological thriller, and that's the thing, see, Martha's Dead isn't a horror game, it's a thriller, that's it, Martha's Dead, that's the game, anyway, Martha's definitely gonna die, and it's actually gonna happen sometime later this year, we're not sure precisely when, but possibly next month, in any case, this is what they came up with.
Hello, Mr. Kellerman. I want to remind you about today's visit in our clinic. Hi, I remember, but I have doubts about this. Is this safe? There is nothing to worry about, Mr. Kellerman. It's completely safe. Warning, nanoparticle system unstable. Okay, Doctor. See you soon. Goodbye. Dark Moonlight was announced a year ago, and well, instantly folks went on and called it a Black Mirror inspired horror game. Why? Because the game is inspired by a bunch of sci fi movies and shows, basically, to be precise. In which it plays a character who goes through life with multiple phobias, and that's exactly where you come in. So check it out. This game doesn't have a release date just yet, but it's rumored to come out soon. <laughs> Ad infinitum, so you play as a German soldier here basically hunted by the horrors of war. Obviously you see monsters and all kinds of stuff as you mark your path through the battlefield is what's going on here. I know a really good horror game like this one called Trenches, World War I, the game, available actually and I'm telling you this because this game Ad infinitum is gonna come out in 2023, so in the meantime just check it out. <coughs> So moving on, I came across Carnival Hunt over here just a few days ago, even though this is actually a month old now. But what it is, Carnival Hunt is a multiplayer survival horror I've been led to believe in which you take on the role of a carnival monster. And there's other players also that they get to play as these bunnies. Could it be fun? I don't know. Is it even gameplay what we're seeing? Uh, I don't know either, but we'll probably find out next year. Just check it out. Dead Space Remake, though, right now is officially going dark until next year, so you don't go in and expect a release date or new footage, just bear in mind it's coming to PCs, PlayStation 5, basically the new generation of consoles, not the old ones. Anyway, uh, there's too much graphics, okay? This is a third-person sci-fi, in case you're not familiar with, actually one of the best things that ever happened in the gaming scene ever, in case you're new to, now on our way once again, this time in the form of a remake. Check it out. It's been almost 13 years, you know, since the original game came out, the original Dead Space. Why is this remake happening now, and what is what exactly is this remake? Can you elaborate on that? Scorn, on the other hand, an upcoming first-person gross survival horror game out of three years ago, basically hitting PCs and Xbox Series X, is now scheduled to come out sometime next year. That's all there is to it. Scorn is an atmospheric game in development for, for quite a while now, actually following a really successful Kickstarter campaign and hopefully do out if things go well with it early next year. So just keep it in mind.
Outlast the Trials, though, which was one of the fine, really fine surprises of the last decade out of a game scam, I don't even know when, now has a release out of uh, 2022, targeting both PCs and consoles, including Switch via the cloud service. I think this is a first person survival horror game, which gets you new, now even a co op multiplayer experience taking things to a new direction, kind of. You excited about the Outlast Trials? Go ahead and let us know about it in the comments. Blooper Team, on the other hand, went on and just a few days ago announced a new Layers of Fear title with a really interesting bit of a trailer. Said we'll have to wait to hear more about this one in sometime next year. So in the meantime, you get to check out the teaser trailer they came out with, which also happens to be running an Unreal Engine 5. Kind of crazy. Check it out. My beloved. <laughs> Gravewood High, on the other hand, is a stealth horror game with roguelike elements and level destruction, which is weird a little bit, but there's even puzzles, says developers, an infinitely replayable possibility because of its procedurally generated levels and environment system nature. Anyway, this one's coming to pieces only October 20th this year. Check it out real quick. Moving on, there's N Nightmares, a game on its way to PlayStation 4 only, and it's going to happen later this year as well. Not sure when, but In Nightmare, in case you're wondering, is a narrative-driven horror adventure game combining sneak actions and puzzle solving as well. Check it out in case you miss it. Least but not last but not least, this is Kid Amnesia Exhibition, an interactive experience so-called horror game coming to the PlayStation 5 PCs sometime this November. It's actually unclear what exactly this thing's even about, but to accompany the news out of Radiohead, which is a band, for those of you unfamiliar, they also came up with this. 